Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. Um, this is a question from my end of topic worksheet from P1, um, from um, chapter 7, Radian Measure. And this is a question from the old Solomon papers, um, as most of my end of topic worksheet questions are from. But this is from the C2, because now the P1, um, previously the, the old C1 didn't used to have Radian Measure, it used to be in in C2, now it's moved us to, to the new P1. So this is actually from the C2 Solomon paper collection, not from the C1 Solomon paper collection because radian measure wasn't in C1 before. So that's where I've taken this question from, from Solomon L, but the C2 collection, not the C1 collection. Okay, so this is question number three from the Solomon C2 collection, um, Solomon L, and it's question number six from my end of topic worksheet, um, which is on about radian measure from chapter seven. Now, this question here, it shows a circle of radius r. So we know the radius of this circle is r, that's given in the question, and center o, which you can see, in which ad is the diameter. So ad goes through the center. The points b and c lie on the circle such that ob and oc are arcs of circles of radius r with centers a and d, respectively. So basically, what they're saying is that, you know, the distance between A and O and A and B is the same. So this is like an arc of a circle. Make this a bit smaller. Okay, and there's another... draw another line okay from here to there from D to C okay, that's the length R as well so it's like A saying that the points B and C lie on the circle such that OB okay and OC are arcs of circles of radius R with centers A and D so OB is an arc of a circle okay with um, radius R and centers A and D so that's like the center of this sector, center of the circle that makes part of this sector. And D is like the center of the circle that makes this sector. Okay, so this is, and all of those lengths are the same as R. So this is radius. Okay, so here we have radius, and here we have R, and here we have R, and there we have R. Okay. Then it says, show that the shaded region OBC is equal to whatever, 1 over 6 R squared, 3 root 3 minus pi. Okay, so that's all the information they've given us. We've got to find the area of the shaded region. Now, what we could do here is if we make a line from there to there and a line from there to there, okay, I can see that I have a sector OBC, the sector OBC. Okay, the sector OBC looks like this. Okay, and there is like a little segment that's taken out of it, which is over there and over here. Now, if I can find the area of one of these segments, and multiply it by 2 and take that away from the area of the sector OBC I'll have this region which they've shaded okay so I need to find the area of one of these segments so basically I'm gonna take find the area of one of these segments and multiply it by 2 then I'll have those two areas and then take that away from the area of the sector and I've got the area of this shaded region so my objective is is to find the area of this um, this little segment here. Okay, if I, f if I can find the area of this segment here, I'm, I'm done. Now, I know this is R, 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 and I also know that this is R as well. They all are, because OB is a radius, OA is a radius, and they said AB is the center of a circle, okay, of radius R. So A is the center of the circle, AB is a radius. Okay, so we know that they are equilateral triangles. If they are equilateral triangles, 
then these angles are all 60 degrees, which is pi over 3 radians, because we're going to deal with radians here. As you can see in the question, we've got to deal with pi. Okay, so radians are going to be in there, all right? So that's pi over 3. And also in this triangle here, okay, this is also going to be pi over 3, because if this is pi over 3, if this is 60 and this is 60, then this angle here must be 60. Okay, because 60 plus 60 plus 60 gives you 180. Okay, so that, that's also pi over 3. So the triangle that we, OB, the, the sector OBC, triangle uh, sector OBC, which looks like this, okay, this angle here is pi over 3. This is R, this is R. So if we find the area of the whole sector and take the area of this segment, we've got the answer. So let's try and work out what this segment's going to be now. Okay, so the segment, this segment here. So the area of the segment, okay, so I'll, I'll write it over here. The area of the segment, okay, OB, you can say that segment there okay we're gonna have it's, it's the area of the whole of the sector minus the area of the triangle so it's the area of the sector AOB okay minus the area of the triangle AOB okay so that's going to be the area of the sector is going to uh, the area of the whole sector here is going to be a half times r squared times theta okay minus the area of the triangle which is a half r squared sine theta so it will give you this formula here that formula here so it's the area of the sector the segment the area of the sector a half r squared theta minus the area of this triangle a half r squared sine theta so it's just factorized that so let me just write that down now that's the area of the whole of this triangle. The whole of this triangle. Take away the area of the, the, the sorry, whole area of the whole sector. Take away the area of this triangle. That's the area of this segment. Okay, so I've got the area of this segment now. In terms of theta here, I'm going to put pi in the end. But we've got two of them. We've got two of them in this triangle here, in this sector here. So I've got to multiply this by two. So basically, I'll just write it over here. So the area required of the region required is equal to so we're going to have the area of the whole of the sector which is the sector OBC which is going to be um, a half r squared theta a half r squared theta minus the area of two of the segments okay because you've got one segment two so it's two times this so it's minus two times a half r squared theta minus sine theta that's going to give us the area that we need that's going to give us this area because you've got the area of a segment plus another segment taken away from the area of this whole sector <clears throat> and that's where you're going to have the answer to this question now we know that theta is equal to pi over 3 60 degrees in, in radians so this is a half r squared times pi over 3 minus that cancels out you've got r squared times pi over 3 minus the sine of pi over 3 <clears throat> so this is going to give you um, 1 over 6 pi r squared minus and you're going to have 1 over 3 pi r squared you're going to have plus now the sine of pi over 3 is root 3 over 2 so you have root 3 over 2 times r squared. Okay, so you have these three to add together. Okay, now, to add these together, I'm going to make all the denominators the same. So I'm going to make the denominators all into 6. So you have 1 over 6 pi r squared <coughs> minus 2 over 6 pi r squared. And you're going to have plus... If you make this over 6, you have to multiply by 3, the denominator, and the numerator. 
That would be 3 root 3 times r squared. Now, 1 over 6 pi r squared minus 2 over 6 pi r squared gives us minus um, 1 over 6 pi r squared. And you've got plus, you're going to have 3 root 3 over 6 r squared. Okay, now the way we have to express it is in this form here. So we've got to take out r squared as a common factor. So let's do that. In fact, the common factor is 1 sixth r squared. So first of all, let's rewrite it so it's, it looks like this. 3 root 3 over 6 r squared minus 1 over 6 pi r squared. Okay, take out 1 sixth as a common factor. Um, take out 1 6 r squared as a common factor and what we're left with is you're going to have um, 3 sorry take out 1 6 you're going to have 3 root 3 minus you're going to have 1 6 r squared pi 3 root 3 and minus pi which is what we have to sh show. 1 6 r squared times 3 root 3 minus pi. That's exactly what we had to show. Okay, so we have the answer to this question. All right, so the key was to, to spot that there are two sectors in here that have been cut out and that these are all equilateral triangles here because all of the angles are pi over 3 because all of these lengths are r. Once you work that out, you can work out the area of this sector because you know that this angle is pi over 3, and then you can take away the area of the segments from the area of that sector, and then it's a case of manipulating algebraically until you get to the answer that they require. Okay, so there we have the answer to this question. Okay, so we have to do some like algebra, some fractions, you know, make the denominators the same, and then take out the common factor, and you get exactly what they ask you to find. So that's the answer for question number free from my end of topic worksheet number seven thank you for watching i hope that was clear and <clears throat> i'll see you again soon if you would like to uh, see other questions from this particular solomon paper which is solomon l of the old c2 um, then you can click on this actually it's not going to be um the, the yeah it will be anyway. click on this icon over here if you'd like to see other questions do it radian measure click on this icon over here. If you want to subscribe to my channel, click over here. I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching.